everyone, I'm Julia and welcome back to Interviews with Plants. Today we're going to be interviewing my good friend, the paper birch, Betula papyrifera. Paper birch is commonly found in lower elevation sites and can be found on wet sites such as this one, but also can be found in dry open forests as well. One important note is that paper birch is easily confused with bitter cherry. They look quite similar. So in this video, we'll make sure to make some comparisons of the two so that you can tell them apart. Papered birch commonly grows in clumps, just like this one. So you'll often see multiple stems coming out from the same point. Paper birch is also a small to medium sized tree only growing to about 30 meters in height. So the leaves of the paper birch are oval in shape, but with a pointed tip. They're doubly serrated, which means that there are big teeth and then smaller teeth along those larger teeth. These two features are very critical for helping you identify paper birch versus bitter cherry. Bitter cherry has much uh, more oval shaped leaves and doesn't have the double toothed edge. Another thing to note about the leaves is that they are fuzzy. They're more clearly fuzzy on the underside you can almost hear that fuzz as I'm rubbing the leaf. Even the twigs are a little bit fuzzy. So you can see the new, the new growth on the stem there has a distinct coating of hairs. A key feature of the paper birch's leaves is that they are alternate along the stem. The stems are also quite hairy when they're new, but this hair disappears on older stems. Instead, older stems have small raised pores that look like little warts. As the bark becomes older, it starts to peel, which is where paper birch gets its name. The peeling bark can be quite variable in color from very pure white to kind of coppery colored brown to any shade in between, even a grayish color. This can make it really hard to distinguish paper birch from bitter cherry, as bitter cherry is also known for its coppery colored bark. So be careful when trying to identify apart these two plants and look for other features like the leaves. The mature bark of the paper birch has horizontal lines along it called lenticels. These lenticels are used as gas exchange pores along the tree bark. Paper birch and bitter cherry both have horizontal lenticels, so it's easy to confuse these two species. Paper birch produces male and female flowers in separate catkins. These catkins appear in springtime when the leaves emerge. When the catkins first appear, they're greenish in color, and when they ripen, they turn into brown nutlets that disintegrate and fall away from the plant in the fall and winter. So that's a bit about the key features of our good friend here, paper birch, Betula papyrifera. So let's thank the paper birch for its time and tune in to our other interviews with plants videos.